Hi students, this is Fanny. Welcome back to my channel. Now I am going to discuss in the class, today's class, the very very important concept and the topic for JE main and advanced that is conics. The introduction of conics. So before going to the conics in depth, parabola, ellipse and hyperbola, you have to learn some very very important basic concepts of conics. So my suggestion better listen the class completely and you you will get uh, some command on the concept okay let us start uh, the conics with uh, the concept the basic concept of this uh, conics is it is the entire topic is depends on a fixed point and a fixed line so there is a fixed point there is a there will be a fixed point this point is fixed and there will be a fixed line these are the two important uh, uh, pillars for the conics topic this is fixed point and fixed line there is a variable point this point moves uh, in different ways it is called a variable point it moves in the locus okay so the ratio of the distances of sp fixed point to variable point and fixed line to variable point so these are the two distances we are having two distances sp and pm what is meant by s here s means a fixed point and this is a fixed line the distance from fixed point to variable point the distance between the two points and the distance that means perpendicular distance from variable point to fixed line so these are the two distances the ratio is called eccentricity or we can call it as eccentricity okay so this is the basic concept of conics the ratio of sp by pm sp by pm is called eccentricity the fixed point is known as focus the fixed point is known as focus and the fixed line is known as directrix okay so directrix sp it is a distance and pm it is also a distance sp means distance from fixed point to variable point and pm is the perpendicular distance from variable point to the directrix fixed line okay the ratio is called eccentricity e okay next coming to the point if e is equal to 0 that means if the ratio is 0 ratio can't be negative Okay, because these two are distances, so it can't be negative, E greater than or equal to 0 only. If E is equal to 0, the conic is nothing but a circuit. The conic is nothing but a circuit. If E is equal to 1, the conic is a parabola. The conic is parabola, which means these two distances are equal. E is equal to 1 means SP is equal to PM. So the distance SP is equal to PM. You see, here is the point P and here is the distance here is equal. Suppose if the point moves here, SP is equal to PM. Suppose here the point, SP distance is equal to PM. Here is the point, the distance. So the path like this, it will be like a parabola. So eccentricity is equal to 1, then the conic is a parabola. If E value in between 0 to 1, in between 0 to 1, in between 0 to means eccentricity value is in terms of points, 0 point something. 0 point something means sp is greater than sp is less than sp is less than pm when denominator is greater than the perpendicular distance is greater than that of this distance so the conic is nothing but uh, ellipse okay and if e greater than 1 e greater than 1 then it becomes hyperbola okay yes. which means here the numerator is greater than the denominator. SP distance. The distance between the points is greater than the perpendicular distance. Then it becomes hyperbola. And here are some specific case. If E tends to root 2. Don't say that E is equal to root 2. Because it is 1.41 for something else. So E tends to root 2. Then it becomes rectangular hyperbola. Rectangular hyperbola. It is called rectangular hyperbola. If E tends to infinite. If E tends to infinite, that means uh, PM becomes uh, very less. PM becomes the perpendicular distance becomes very less. Uh, then it is a pair of straight line. The locus is nothing but a pair of straight lines. Okay. These are the important points. Okay. And uh, the general form, I am also going to discuss the general form of the conic. The fixed point is focus and the fixed line is called directrix. And the general form, <coughs> you have to know, that is uh, the ax square plus 2hxy 
plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c e is equal to 0. This is one of the important point. a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y is equal to 0. This is called non-homogeneous second degree equation. Non-homogeneous second degree equation. If, if the value a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0, we can call this entire equation as delta. If delta is equal to 0, okay, if entire value in this equal to 0, then it is called, this equation represents a pair of like straight lines, a pair of straight lines. If delta is equal to 0, it represents a pair of straight lines. If delta not equal to 0, then what happens? Delta not equal to 0, that means uh, this value not equal to 0, then <coughs> it represents circle, either circle, parabola, ellipse, I will give the conditions also, hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola, okay. For circle what happens, delta must be not equal to 0 and here h is equal to 0 and a is equal to b, h is equal to 0 means coefficient of x, y should be 0 and uh, coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square, okay, and g square plus f square minus c greater than or equal to 0, then it represents a circle. These are very, very important points. And for parabola, for parabola, we have h square is equal to a b, h square is equal to a b, then it is represents a parabola. And if ellipse, if h square less than a b, then it represents a ellipse and if h square greater than a b it represents a hyperbola and if h square greater than a b and a plus b is equal to 0 then we can say it is hyperbola okay so these are the few points of the conics you see once So these are the few important points, I think uh, you, take, you have taken a screenshot for this one. So these are the few basics of conics. I, in the next class I will uh, introduce parabola, in-depth uh, parabola concept. Okay, thank you.